Good morning and let us please stand and let us turn to each other to wish each other a good morning. Good morning. And today we celebrate uh, Saturday in the fourth week in the season of Lent. And our opening hymn is the Prayer of St. Francis. Make me a channel of your peace. For there is hatred, let me bring your love. For there is injury upon the Lord. And where does thou true faith in you? Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we now call to mind our sins as we remember the great mercy and compassion of our God. You are a just judge. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You are sent by the Father, Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright, for without your grace we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. 
for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just. O searcher of heart and soul, O just God, O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes by day by day. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and the Pharisees who asked them, why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him? and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then they each went to their own house. I remember reading those weird words a year ago, the first time Father Thomas had assigned me to do the homily after the pandemic started, because that was the same gospel of my first homily. And while I had to go back to my notes to see what was in my homily, those words stuck in my mind. They each went to their own house. Because it was one year ago when the stay-at-home order happened and all of a sudden our world changed completely as each one of us had to go and separate and go to our own house. 
And I, it's taken this last year for me to realize just how important it is that we are able to come together and how I still miss how things were before the pandemic started. And I don't think John the Evangelist had in mind when he wrote the gospel that, about pandemics, about that. I know for me personally, that first homily was strangely eerie in the chapel over there as I was sharing my thoughts only with Father Thomas's iPhone. It's so much nicer to have people who are actually here that I know are, are actually listening. So I had no idea who was on the other side of that iPhone. But we've learned. We've learned virtual meetings. We've learned phone calls. But most importantly, we've learned to appreciate being with others. So with that in mind, as I go back and reflect on both our readings, I, I ask, you know, how many times have we been like the people of Jeremiah's time or like the Pharisees, where we voluntarily choose to cut ourselves off from others? Many times when we disagree with someone, we have an argument. It's kind of like I used to do when I was a kid, and maybe some of you did also, is if I was mad at a friend, I'd take my toys and go home. But it's not about that villainizing people by the argument that we have. Because it's so easy when we're, we disagree with someone, suddenly we become mad at that person. Sometimes it resorts to name calling. Sometimes the need to separate. But you and I are called to be open, to listen. And very much we may disagree with other people's opinions. But we need to try not to separate. As we heard in the first reading, they wanted to um, take Jeremiah send them away, never hear from them again. They wanted to do the same with Jesus. It was Nicodemus who said, shouldn't we first listen to him before we decide? We see in the ministry of Jesus as he approaches people throughout the ministry. Think of the woman at the well, the woman committing, who was accused of committing adultery. Matthew, the tax collector. You see, these are all people that Jesus probably disagreed with. I have no idea when he went to their homes for dinner what the dinner conversation would be about. But I'm sure there were topics that were disagreed. But we see in Jesus a patience to listen and to separate what they may be saying from a judgment of the person. You know, hate the sinner, Hate the sin, love the sinner. That's what we're called to do as we reflect on today's readings. I encourage you to think of people that maybe we've separated from, not because of a pandemic, but because of a disagreement, because of something in our lives that we just could not come and understand where they were at. Could we focus on that disagreement and ask God to help us reach out and make a difference and touch and rebuild our relationship so that we do not voluntarily reject them and go, just go to our own homes to separate, but that we show Jesus' love to those people. Let us pray to our Father that he shows us the way to Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Our response is, you are our strength, O Lord. 
You are our strength, O Lord. That those in authority may be guided by the spirit of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That courage may be given to those who spread the gospel message everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That rich nations may be generous to poor nations. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That the sick, the prisoners, the elderly, and the handicapped may be strengthened by God's consoling words. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy the promised everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. The intention of this Mass is offered for the eternal repose of Father Luis Serrano. We also pray for the birthday of Wilma Romasok, the wedding anniversary of Romy and Merli Oli. We pray for the health of Sonia Espiritu and Colonel Roger Inson Sr. And we pray for the eternal repose of Rudy Palacio and Florante and Dax Magdalena. And in silence, we now offer up our own prayers and petitions, as well as those prayers in our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. You, you are, are our strength, strength O Lord. Lord. Father of all, you sent your only Son to draw us closer to you. Guide us in our mission to spread our faith throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. 
humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabao, Plenis Uncelli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all their faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere in hobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. By the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed. We now join in prayer with our brothers and sisters online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we turn now to Mary, our mother, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a Father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let it bow down for the blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace that help by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down upon you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is, They'll Know We Are Christians. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. God bless you and thank you for praying with us today.